Kerry Eggers, uh, Portland Tribune. CJ, that fourth quarter you missed some free throws, some shots you normally make. Was it, are, were you gassed? Uh, the pressures over the situation, what was going on? Yeah, like you said, I just missed them. Um, I was locked in as, as I could be, focused as I could be. I prepared the same way I always do, just left it a little short. Um, I feel like I didn't give myself a chance by leaving it short. I'd rather miss long, but you know it happened. It's unfortunate that it had to happen in the fourth quarter. It was such a tightly contested game. Uh, there's no excuses. It's on me. You know, free throws are uncontested shots that you should make, especially a player of my caliber, and I didn't make them. The right side, please. CJ, Tom Ward, Coin TV. What does it feel like out there when the Warriors begin to hit that gear, like in the third quarter? They've done it twice in a row now. Can you can you describe us uh, that for us? <sighs> um, they're a very good team, especially in the third quarter, as we've seen. Um, they take advantage of missed shots. Draymond did a good job of pushing the ball in transition. He kind of got them going, getting easy baskets for everybody else. Obviously, you know, you try to stay locked in on their shooters. Um, Steph and Clay are constantly moving. So, you know, if you're guarding one of those guys, you're not necessarily paying attention to where the ball's at because you're in a stay home. So uh, he was smart about, you know, when to drive, driving up guys' backs. And, you know, they took advantage of uh, bad offense. They took advantage of uh, missed shots. And uh, the third quarter was a killer once again. When Draymond takes the ball in that power dribble up the court, like you say, you, you had your back turn on, on some occasions. Just how, how much of an impact do you think Durant's absence is having on his ability to initiate and play make the way he has in the last few games? I mean, I think he plays the same, you know, whether KD's playing or not. You know, he initiates a lot of the offense. Um, Steph is the point guard, but a lot of times, you know, Draymond's getting the rebound, so he's starting the break. And Steph does a great job of moving without the ball. Um, Clay does a great job moving without the ball. I think that, you know, just depending on how teams guard them, obviously we've trapped, we've done a little bit of, uh, you know, changes in our coverages. Draymond's the guy that catches the ball in the middle. So he's making a decision on whether to shoot it, drive it at the help and throw the lob or to hit the corner. And a lot of times tonight, he was just pushing the ball and, and getting contact and finishing around the basket. But, um, I mean, the only difference between when KD plays and when KD doesn't is just an, another guy who can do everything you know, out on the court, so just, you know, probably more space, but they also ISO a little bit more, you know, with him and run a little bit more a pick and roll with Steph, you know, having a, a point guard set the screen. On the left side, in the middle row. Yes. Go. Ryan Clark, Portland Tribune. Uh, CJ, as far as the defense the Warriors have played in this series, uh, what do you think they've done to limit you and Dame uh, in a lot of the pick and roll actions? Have you been watching the pick and roll actions? What did That's you What did you see? I saw they were blitzing you guys and that you got in a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah they've shots. been blitzing us. They've been up at the level of the screen. And uh, in ISO situations, they do a good job of loading up. So you never really, you know, by yourself, uh, the elbows, boxes, you know, sometimes they just send a second defender. So, you know, they're very smart about how they, you know, structure their defense. Uh, obviously, it changes throughout the game. But I think, you know, Draymond's constantly helping. You know, Iggy's rotating over. Um, the weak side is you know, pulling over and making it difficult. But, you know, we got to do a better job. That's what elite defenses do. You know, they make it difficult on you and try to, you know, get the other guys to, to beat you. Uh, Marcus White, NBC Sports Bay Area. In that second quarter, you got some minutes with the second unit. You guys had a good amount of success together. What changed in the second half uh, when you guys were reunited? Um, I, I, don't, I don't think we did a, a poor job in the second half. I just think that, you know, by the time by the time the second unit was in, it, it went from we were up, you know, 13 to start the second quarter to probably up two or down two at, at that point. So the, the flow of the game was the same. You know, we just didn't make shots. They got out and ran, and they had a little bit of momentum, you know, based on, you know, the run they went on. But I thought the second unit did a great job. Um, we have to do a better job, you know, as a, as a starting unit of closing games. Um, that, you know, six, seven minute spurt, our pick and roll coverage was a little spotty. And uh, we allowed Steph to, you know, get some easy layups down the stretch. CJ Tom Ward, Coin TV. Um, in your estimation, does this team have enough gas in the tank to come out, get a win Monday, and kind of begin to make this a series again? Absolutely. You know, you never want a series to end, especially on your home court. Uh, everybody on this team has pride. Everybody on this team, you know, understands what's at stake, and 
Uh, we've been through a lot of adversity this season in, in our lives individually, so uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. Um, we, we've dug ourselves in uh, quite a hole, but now for us it's just one game at a time. The next game is Monday at home in front of our fans, and uh, we want to do our best to try to put on a, a good show.